about 21 kilometers uh, west of Canmore is uh, Banff and uh, we're heading there next and I'll probably do a short video from Banff as well. But uh, Canmar is well known for the flood uh, in uh, 2013. So eight years ago, almost eight years ago to the day, I believe it was from June uh, 19th to July, uh, you know, early July, maybe the first or second week in July, there was tremendous amounts of rain in this region of the Rockies and all, all, all along the uh, Rocky Mountains in Alberta. So many places got over 200 millimeters in, 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 in a couple days. And Canmar, uh, Canmore, rather, where I am, had um, 220 millimeters or 8.7 inches of rain in a period of a uh, day and a half, 36 hours. And uh, further up in the Rockies, there was uh, the, um, the wind circulation pattern was such that the jet streams were stuck. There was easterly flow of warm, moist air that was pushed up into the Rockies and it created a huge rain event, but it was a rain on snow event. So the rain fell at high elevations onto snow covered mountains. And of course that melted the snow extremely quickly and all of that water came down into the Bow River here, um, you know, up higher in the mountains and it came rushing down and it wiped out the, the shoreline here um, in Canmore. It went through many buildings in the town and uh, caused huge amounts of damage. And all of these rocks that are piled up here, I'm sure that those are, were put there in, in 2013 you know, after, or after the, after the flooding event. So Canmore was pretty, pretty hammered, pretty well hammered by the, um, that rain on snow event, you know, which was because the jet streams were stuck, which is because we're undergoing abrupt climate change and we're getting extreme weather events everywhere. So I'm just going to walk around a little bit and, uh, show you a bit more of this, uh, you know, gorgeous area. Let me just grab my coffee. Okay, so so last night I stayed in a small town called uh, um, well, it's about about east of here. Um, what is it? Uh, I'm trying to remember that I've forgotten the name offhand. Coburg or or uh, anyway, stayed in a really in a hundred. A hundred, a hundred plus year old uh, bar, basically, with uh, inns on top. So it was a pretty wild place. I, I think it was built in 1902 or something. Very tiny rooms. You know, rooms were gorgeous. You know, they were decorated. A lot, a lot of the original furniture, I believe. But it was as hot as heck. Very tiny window. No air conditioning. Very small room. It was like super hot, but it was better than sleeping in the car. So, you know, beautiful scenery out here. So imagine an, an enormous plug of water, essentially, from, you know, days and days of rain. And, uh, you know, all the rain running off of the mountains and hills down into the lowest point, into the river. You know, the river level coming up and up and up and overflowing all of these banks and uh, maybe taking out the bridge. I don't know if this bridge was replaced or whether it survived the 2013 thing. Maybe there's a plaque or a date on it or something. I'll just walk up this way a bit and uh, see if I can go across. So we're heading a bit further west to Banff and uh, you know, we were thinking of going to the border with BC, but I'm not sure if that's going to happen because we want to be uh, up in Edmonton for tonight. I'm seeing a friend just to say hi, and uh, I'm going to have to sort of not go, you know, start heading back towards uh, towards Ontario where my uh, son, son wants to be picked up on Tuesday from his two-month uh, tree planting adventure.
I guess the river is carrying lots and lots of sediment because it's that dark uh, brownish color. This guy's stopping, which is good. Otherwise I have him on film running me over. Let's see if this plaque says anything about the flooding. Uh, it talks about the Bow River, the drainage basin and so on. But it doesn't say anything about the 2013 flooding that I can see. Anyway, this looks fairly new to me, so... You know, this bridge construction looks, looks fairly new, so... And this walkway. Yeah, I mean, that looks like new poured concrete on the abutments and so on, so... So I'm going to take a stab here and I'm going to say that this bridge was probably washed out or destroyed. And this is, uh, you know, the old bridge and this is a new bridge that was built post uh, 2013 along with this walkway. Probably lots of people here today. In this province, the uh, mask uh, orders, uh, things kind of opened up uh, July 1st, two days ago in this province. So. Uh, you know, everybody's out and about, you know, tourism, tourism um, is alive again in this part, of, in this neck of the woods. Yeah, it's got this real greenish color, so, you know, there's probably a lot of algae in it. The water, I'm sure the water's very cold, you know, mountain water coming down from high elevation, a lot of minerals. Uh, and a lot of uh, dirt and sediments and so on. Just a gorgeous view here of the mountain peaks. And, uh, you know, a new bridge, new walkway since the old ones were taken out from the uh, 2030 flooding. And that flooding was widespread. So, you know, the plug of water, like when Canmore was washed out, it was pretty obvious that uh, that water was going to end up in Calgary, you know, and uh, downtown. And, uh, you know, but Calgary didn't prepare. Like, they, you know, they... they they didn't do much. I don't think they did anything actually in the few day in, in the day or two after this place was all washed out along the shore along the Bow River here up in Canmore, you know, in the foothills of the Rockies. And then as you go, you know, that water had to go somewhere. Surely they could have diverted it away from the uh, city of Calgary, but no, no. So I'm heading into Calgary, and if I if I make it to to, to uh, the Saddle Dome area, I might do another short video just to show you the regions that were flooded. I think I think the sa the stadium uh, filled up with water to about the first ten rows of seats or something back in in 2013. So anyway, um, yeah, climate change in action. Every place is affected in some way or other. Okay, thanks for listening.